We are to find the roots for the polynomial p of x equal to x to the sixth minus 7x cubed minus 8. This would factor into x cubed minus 8 times x cubed plus 1. It looks quadratic because it has three terms, and x to the sixth is the square of x cubed. So that's why we use this form. x cubed minus 8 is a difference of cubes. So it'll factor into x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. x cubed plus 1 is a sum of cubes. So it would factor into x plus 1 times x squared minus x plus 1. Now the x minus 2 factor and the x plus 1 factor give us the roots x equal to 2 and x equal to minus 1. What we need to do now is solve this quadratic equation, x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. And we can do that by completing the square. So we'll move the negative 4 over, or subtract 4 from both sides, and then divide 2 by 2 and square it, which gives us 1 squared or 1. So we will add 1 to both sides, and then factor the left, and we have x plus 1 squared equal to negative 3. Then we'll take the square root of both sides, and remember that we have to put the plus or minus on the right. The square root of negative 3 implies that we'll have an imaginary number, so we bring the i out, and we're left with x plus 1 equals plus or minus i root 3. Then subtract 1 from both sides, and now we have two roots here, negative 1 plus i root 3 and negative 1 minus i root 3. So, so far, we have 4 total. We have 2... negative 1, and the 2 we just found. Now we need to find the roots for the other quadratic, x squared minus x plus 1. So we'll set that equal to 0, and then our coefficient on x is negative 1, so we'll divide that by 2 and square it, and that'll give us a fourth. So we'll move the 1 over, so we subtract 1 from both sides, and add 1 fourth to both sides. Factoring the left, we have x minus 1 half squared. Remember, it's always going to be whatever we squared here in with the parentheses with the x in our factored square. And then on the right, we'll have minus 3 fourths. So we'll take the square root of both sides, and remember that we have to apply the plus or minus on the right. And then bringing the i out and adding one-half to both sides, we wind up with two other roots, x equal to one-half plus or minus i root 3 over 2. So there are two roots here. Two roots here, minus 1 plus or minus i root 3. And two roots here, which accounts for all six of the roots that we should have with a sixth degree polynomial.